Hello YouTubers, this is New Mexico Outdoorsman NM and today we're going to be making a archery thumb ring here and we'll make it out of this block of oak and the tools we're going to be using is a saw, pencil and a metric ruler and a dremel and I also have a belt sander clamp to the bench and we'll go ahead and get started we we're gonna go ahead and I already started cutting a little bit there we're gonna cut the general shape and this is two centimeters by three centimeters by five centimeters just in case you're wondering we'll go ahead and get it cut This cut that we made will look see, see that part of the thumb ring and go ahead and get the rest of the cuts made. And Alrighty, this is what it looks like after we got all the saw cuts on it. Next, we'll drill a hole for our thumb to go in. Let me get the drill ready and I'll show you. Alright, we're going to go ahead and drill the hole. I'm using a 5 8 drill bit. And you'll kind of want it in the center of your th thumb, where your thumb hole will be. And we'll go ahead and get that drilled. Alrighty, we got the hole drilled. Now we're going to go ahead and take it to the sander and I won't show that but all we're going to do is round off all the edges and get it looking almost like the thumb ring and then we'll start using the drill. Right, we sanded this down a little bit, kind of rounded that off and we narrowed that down right there. Now we're going to talk about the hole. We're going to take it to the Dremel and make that hole, but first, let me tell you how this hole works. This is a, if you notice on this one, it ain't perfectly round. It's a little bit narrower this way than this way. And if, and it fits on your thumb, you want it to be 90 degrees when you put it on. So when you rotate it, to the proper position can't pull it off and to take it off put it 90 and pull it out anyhow I found the size that works best for my thumb is 25 millimeters by 20 you, it's really more 21 by 26 but I just go a millimeter smaller because once you get to sanding you'll get a little bit bigger and so we'll mark that go with the Dremel make that hole and then we'll show you already after we that. got the hole drilled out now we're gonna shape this outside corners to that hole and then we're gonna put a bevel on this all around on the sander and then I'll show you what that looks, what like. It looks like now. Put a little bevel on that edge and rounded it off. Next we're gonna uh, put a little bowl type shape in here for the thumb to sit in with the Dremel and pretty much from here on out is Dremel because we, this is mostly in its shape, and so everything 
All I have to do is with the hole and this side of the thumb ring. I'll show you what it looks like after it's Alrighty, we got out. the bowl in the middle there. And our next step is to clean it up and what I got to do that is a piece of 220 grit sandpaper and after we got that done we'll be finished and I'll show you what it looks like when we're done and go see if it Alrighty we finished the thumb ring. Now put it on pop it on like that turn it 90 degrees and it won't come off. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot it and see if it'll break or not. Well, I don't know where it went, but it broke, but when I find it, I'll show you guys. <laughs> well, I found the pieces, and here it is. That's how it was right there. This is kind of why I don't build a lot of them out of wood. The other one we were going off of is out of pine, but I haven't used it. And I know pine wouldn't even survive the pullback. But that one's just for casting purposes, to make a mold to cast one out of metal. But yeah, I'm sure if you get some harder wood or some better material, you can use these same methods to make you a good thumb ring. This is Mexico Outdoorsman NM, and hope you enjoy this.